Hi, I'm Amanda from Williams Sonoma's Test Kitchen. And as you can imagine, on any given day, the Test Kitchen is cooking dozens and dozens of recipes. So I was so excited to test the Breville Sous Chef Food Processor. I was blown away by this machine and can't wait to show you all of its features and benefits. Let me start right here with the feed tube. It's incredible because it has an extra large one now, so you don't even have to think about cutting larger vegetables before you put them right in for processing. They were smart enough to think about keeping a smaller feed tube too though, so if you want to do anything like carrots or smaller vegetables, they just go right through for processing. Right now you can see that I've got the smaller bowl in it, and this is a great work bowl if you want to chop nuts or do a vinaigrette or anything that doesn't require a lot of space. So you can see that that just pops right out with that small blade. Now here's one of my favorite things about this food processor, is that the engineers really thought through how to store everything for you. You really want to worry, you know, sometimes from a safety perspective, you don't want to be digging in and finding a blade in your cabinet. And so they were smart enough to put all of this in one compact case where you can just shut it and then store it on its side in the cabinet. And I'll take out the slicing blade. Now this again, I can't believe they thought about this, but they actually have a measurement on the back here where you can adjust how thick you'd like your slices. And you'll see that it has a storage position on it. So right now it's completely flush and you can't worry about cutting yourself. But I'm going to do some thin slices. So I'm gonna change it to about two and a half millimeters. You can slice things anywhere from zero to eight millimeters in thickness. This spindle just pops in for any of these blades you're using. I'm just gonna put this right on top. Can you see how there's barely any room between where the blade is and where the bowl is? This means you won't have a lot of fallout and extra pieces of your produce or your cheese falling over the sides. I'm just gonna line the top. Let's slice some tomatoes. Now again, it's so smart because it won't start until this pusher has made contact again, so your hands are safe. Just gonna press the start button. You barely have to give it any pressure. And you probably can't see in here, but I'm gonna show you how perfectly sliced these tomatoes are. Let's take a look. I mean, it just makes such quick work out of tests that can take so long. So the Breville Sous Chef also comes with a French fry blade, one of my personal favorites. So let me just put it on here. It's unbelievable because you can actually fit whole potatoes into the top of this. Let me take out the pusher. You can put in a whole potato, squeeze it right in. Oh my gosh, it's so fast. I'll show you again. They're perfectly cut fries. Look at this, amazing. Sweet potatoes would work just as well. These are restaurant quality. So this blade alone makes me want to track down the designer and say thank you. I've never seen anything like this. It's actually a shredding blade that's reversible. So you can see these coarser, larger holes here, and then you flip it over and you have a fine shredder. It's just, again, such clever design. Let's put it in. And I'll do some potatoes again on the coarser setting. Press start. literally effortless. Let's take the lid off and have a look. Now one of the first things I can tell right away is that nothing's fallen over the sides. It really got to all of my potatoes. Oh my gosh, incredible. Look at how perfectly shredded these are. You could do this with carrots, you could do it with onions. This is more accurate than my knife skills. It's unbelievable. Next I'm going to show you how to make pastry dough in the sous chef. So this is the dough blade that I'm going to use, but let me just show you a few more while I'm here. It also comes with this processing blade, which is a great chopping blade. I already showed you the smaller one, which you'd use if you're using the smaller bowl. And this is so cool. You can whip cream or do egg whites with this whisk attachment. It's also got a cleaning brush that fits right in here and a spatula. And I don't think I showed you the julienne blade either. It's pretty much got everything. All right, so let's just put in my dough blade. And a lot of people are surprised, I think, because it doesn't have a dough button on the food processor, but actually you don't even need it. I'm just gonna pulse this a couple times and that's all you need to do. And actually, if you wanted to, if you're doing like a pizza dough and you need to keep going, if your recipe tells you to knead it for say five minutes, it's got this great built-in timer. And so you just set the time that you want it to work and it counts down for you. This is just so 
incredibly easy. All right, let's make my pastry dough. I put in my butter with my flour and I'm just gonna pulse it a couple times. And I pulse it until the butter is the size of little peas. I think it's perfect. There we go. Now I'll just use the smaller part of the feed tube. I'm going to add eight tablespoons of water, cold, cold water. This is ice water. And I'll pulse it a couple more times. I love making pastry dough because once you figure it out, it's so easy. But I think it's one of those things that can be intimidating to people if you've never made it before. So let me show you how I do it. Okay, I'm gonna add eight tablespoons of water. I'm just gonna pulse it again until it just starts to come together. And if it won't come together after this, then I'll add a little bit more water. Okay, let me show you the texture I'm looking for. Let's open the bowl. You'll see how when I pinch a piece together, it holds together in my fingers. It's the perfect pastry dough. And that's how easy it is to make dough in the Breville Sous Chef food processor.